Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to BISP Solutions. This is Farha Alam. And here we are discussing about the OTBI, which is an Oracle Transactional Business Intelligence, a reporting tool that comes under the Oracle Fusion application. And in our previous session, uh, we have seen the simple creation of the OTBI analysis by using BI Composer, right? Uh, and uh, this is basically the one which we have created in our last session the invoice detail which comes under the financial subject area and under finance we have selected the payables invoices transactions real time subject area by using that subject area we have created uh, this uh, invoice detail analysis and generated our report basically this invoice detail contain these measures the invoice date invoice description invoice number invoice type name invoice currency supplier site information we have in it and then last we have the invoice amount so this is basically the simple creation of the analysis which we have seen in our last session and in today's session i am going to show you how do we edit this existing analysis and how do we perform some kind of sorting and some kind of uh, major shuffling and data highlighting and all all these things uh, we are going to uh, see in this session so for in order to do so we have to log into the instance and this is the home page of our application and uh, I hope you all have become familiar with the navigation in order to reach out to the OTBI environment. So the navigation is uh, simple. Click on this navigator icon. Here it is on the top left corner. It is here and under navigation, we have to under navigator icon. We have to select for the option, which is the tools one. Click on this one and under this tools, we have to search for the option, which is the reports and analytics one. Click on this one. After clicking on this reports and analytics uh, option, we will going to redirect us to the OTBI homepage. And this is the homepage of our uh, OTBI environment. And this is basically the analysis which we have created in our uh, last session. So in order to edit this existing analysis, what we have to do? And one more thing I want to show you that uh, this is the one which we have created in the last session. And this one is we are going to create in our today's session. Uh, basically what we have done uh, over here, we have shuffled the measures like uh, in the previous one, we have the invoice date. After that, we have invoice description. So I am going to shuffle these measures like after invoice date uh, we are going to display the invoice number and uh, one more thing i have done over here which is i have excluded this measure which is the invoice type name over here and then i have uh, sort the invoice date uh, also i have performed the sorting on the invoice date measures and then uh, lastly i have uh, and done some uh, data highlighting over here uh, under the invoice amount measure so these things basically we are going to perform in our today's session uh, so to do so we have to simply go to the otbi home uh, home page and this is the analysis so what we have to do, we in order to edit this existing analysis, we have to click on these three dots, which is uh, over here on the uh, right away of the analysis. And here, when we click on these three dots, we have these three options, view, edit, and more. So in order to click on this view option, it will going to open this particular analysis. But uh, this time, I'm going to edit this existing one. So I'm going to click on this edit option so that it will going to open this particular analysis in the edit mode. Okay. 
so this is the analysis which we have uh, which we have opened in the edit mode and this is the subject area and this is the selected column area so if we we want if we want to include some other measures uh, into our analysis then we can do that one also but uh, here i don't want to include any uh, more measure uh, in the analysis i want to keep it uh, as simple as it is so what i am uh, what i will do over here i have to click on this next option click on this one after clicking on this next option here we will be able to see the preview of our analysis but by default whenever we open this uh, uh, page this preview option has got disabled so make sure that uh, this preview option is enabled enable this one uh, after enabling this preview option we will be able to get the preview of our analysis so here is the preview of our analysis uh, after that click on this next option and here if we want to edit our table like if we want to shuffle the measures in uh, from like uh, up down whatever we want to perform we can do that over here so like uh, i want to display the invoice number after the invoice date so what i have to do over here i have to just simply select this invoice number measure and click on this move selected item up one in the list so that it will going to display after the invoice date measure click on this one so uh, the invoice number uh, is displaying after the invoice date and one more thing i want to do over here which is that uh, i want to uh, exclude the invoice type measure from the analysis so what uh, we have to do over here we have to just simply select this particular measure which is the invoice type name and click on this move to option and when we click on this move to option it will going to open the other option which are prompt for section by excluded and in our upcoming session we will going to see all these uh, options uh, but uh, this time i am going to um, show you this one which is the excluded one so select the measure which is the invoice type name and click on this excluded option then it will going to exclude this particular measure from the analysis so here the uh, the invoice type name has been included excluded from our analysis as we can see over here this uh, particular measure has been excluded from the analysis and what next we are doing click on this uh, next option and here uh, we will here in this uh, page we'll we'll be able to perform some kind of uh, sorting over here so uh, like uh, in our case uh, i am going to uh, sort the invoice date so what uh, we have to do we have to click on this add sort option when we click on this add sort option it will going to open all the measures which we have in the analysis so on uh, which measure you want to perform your sorting you can uh, select any one of them as i am going to uh, implement this sort uh, uh, action on my uh, invoice date measure so i am going to select this invoice date measure this time the invoice date is appearing in the ascending order as we can see over here so right now i am going to select this one which is the descending one so the invoice date uh, uh, will going to display in the descending order the recent date will comes over will come over here will appear over here so this is about the sorting and uh, you can perform this one on any measure you want to perform like uh, if you want to perform the sorting on the invoice number you can do that uh, if you want to perform the sorting on the invoice amount uh, measure, you can do that also. But here I have uh, implemented this sorting on the invoice date. Uh, after that, I am going to simply click on the next option. Here we will be able to perform some kind of highlighting over here. Like uh, 
if we want to highlight uh, any particular data in uh, any particular format so we can do that over here so in order to highlight uh, the data we have to click on uh, this uh, format when this formatting window will appear we have to click on this add column format option then uh, it will going to open only that particular measure on which we will be able to perform the highlighting. So here we can perform our highlighting on the invoice amount. So click on this one. And here basically we have to provide the range between uh, which amount we want to highlight so we have to give the range over here so i want to display i want to display the uh, invoice amount which is in between 1000 to 5000 will going to get highlighted with the this particular color and for the other for the remaining two i am going to simply select the default color select this default color so that it will going to highlight only those invoice amount which are in between 1000 to 5000 so this is what we have done over here we have performed this uh, highlighting over here under this uh, one and after uh, performing uh, highlighting we have to click on this next option then it will going to open the window and ask uh, the name for the analysis like uh, uh, the previous analysis name is uh, invoice detail analysis so i am going to edit this one by this uh, invoice detail analysis addition and same thing i am going to perform uh, uh, provide under the description also so this is the one and after that we have to select our destination folder like where want to where we want to save our analysis as i have uh, told you that uh, under otbi basically we have uh, two folders one is the uh, my folder and the other one is the shared folder and these uh, analysis and reports are meant to be prepared for the purpose of decision making so it is always recommended that uh, we have to save our analysis under shared folder under this shared folder we have one custom folder and under this custom folder we can create our own folder which i had already created and this uh, is the one which i had created and I had saved my the previous analysis in this one. So this time again, I am going to save over here. So after providing the appropriate name for the analysis and selecting the uh, desired destination where you want to save your analysis, click on this submit option. When we click on this submit option, we will get one confirmation message, which is this one analysis saved successfully. Please close the current browser tab window to exit the wizard. Click on this OK. After that, uh, we have to search uh, for the analysis which we have just created. So in order to search that particular one, we have to click on this clear filter option. When we click on this clear filter option, it will going to display the uh, folders which we have in our OTBI environment, which is, which are my folders and shared folders. So where we have uh, saved our analysis under shared folder and under shared we have one custom one. And under this custom one, we had created our own folder, which is this one click on this one or expand this one and this is basically the analysis which we have added just now we, uh, open this one or view this one so this is the one which we had created just now like uh, invoice date and this is the previous one invoice date invoice description but this time we have shuffled the measures like uh, in uh, invoice date after invoice date we have the invoice number right now before we perform 
before what we have seen we have seen the invoice description but after performing the editing we will be able to see the invoice number after the invoice date and we have excluded the invoice type name from our analysis and uh, we have sorted the invoice date in the descending order and what next we have done over here we have highlighted this invoice amount measure which uh, the invoice amount which is in between 1000 to 5000 is going to get highlighted with this particular color so uh, how many things we have performed over here we have seen the uh, first we have seen the shuffling of the measure next we have seen the uh, exclude uh, how do we exclude uh, any particular measure from our analysis and then we have seen the sorting option how do we implement uh, uh, the sorting and then uh, we have uh, seen uh, how do we highlight any particular data or information in our analysis under OTBI using BI composer so in this session we have seen how do we edit the existing analysis basically this is the one which we have created in the previous session and in this session we have just uh, what we have done we have just added that existing analysis and perform all these editing over here and this is all about the editing uh, of the existing analysis and the and our today's session also uh, I hope you like this one. Thank you, everyone. If you have any question regarding this, please feel free to ask. Thank you, everyone.